Husbands are hunters. I remember, I, 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 listen to me. Any woman you wear, you monitor your husband. Anything happen to you, take it like that. Hunter, there. Hunter. They are hunters. Eh? They the kill and tell. No. Then they go do the thing. Outside. All right. Good morning. Good afternoon. Good evening. God bless you from wherever you are listening to me. I bring you greetings in the name of our Lord and Savior Jesus Christ. Um, I want to lay a, a foreground before I let you watch the full video. I will let you watch the full video. And um, I've got a lot to say about this. But let me make an announcement here. Number one. I don't believe it is necessary for women to monitor their husbands. You will hear me out and understand why it is so. But I don't, for any, any reason, uh, believe in what this prophet here has said about this matter. I'm going to talk about it. And uh, before you say anything, before you come here to defend prophet Omoto Fufeng, Listen, you, may say, you can say amen to these prayers if, if you are here to attack me because of what I have to say on this video. Yeah, um, if you're a woman, may your husband bring a side chick home one, one night. And then, uh, so you behave like a dumb person. You know, say amen to it. If you're a man, maybe you're not married now. Or maybe you are married, you may be a father. If you are not married, you are a brother to some sister somewhere. Will you please say amen that your daughter suffers the same fate that her husband comes home, you know, with a side chick one night and probably pursues your daughter or your sister, whichever one that is applicable to you, out of their matrimonial home so that he can sleep with a side chick and your daughter or your sister may behave like a dumb person so if these are good for you please say a very loud amen as i allow you to watch the video i intentionally uploaded the video till the end because i listened i really wanted to see him balance what he was trying to pass across but i discovered that he had nothing to balance he meant what he was saying and you know, for him to, uh, or for me to be certain that he actually meant what he was saying, after this one you watched, I'm going to keep that one at the very end of the video when I have finished what I had to say. Now, he, he had to bring that incident to his church service, you know, after this place that you see. Um, so, to confirm that he was not mincing words, he meant actually what he said. Did you hear what he said? That husbands are hunters. Men are hunters. Men are what? Hunters. hunters. And uh, while Chris Okafor was trying to be funny, while, while are they hunting, uh, uh, Antelope, he said, no, they, are, they, they go do the thing. You, you understand? And um, I wouldn't know how you will feel if this happens to you as a woman. So let me not talk too much. Uh, meanwhile, I want to ask you to subscribe to the channel, share this video, share the link to the video, and uh, make it go viral, please. Put down your comments, whether good or bad, just put it there. But as you are putting in the bad one, first and foremost, accept the prayer I have prayed earlier on. God bless you. I'll be seeing you at the end of the video. Amen. You are a woman. If you monitor your husband, you are finished. Come. You. You, you. Yes, I do. I'm here, sir. You. You have done the greatest mistake in your marriage. Why you don't? Who, who have done this to you? When I look at it, you are the one that curses it. You are the one that curses this problem. By yourself. Women, listen. Sit down. I'm going to listen. 
You are a woman. If you monitor your husband, you are finished. Husbands are hunters. I remember, I, 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 listen to me. Any woman you are, you monitor your husband. Anything happen to you, take it like that. Hunter, there. Hunter. They are hunters. Huh? They the kill and tell. Them. No. Then they go do the thing outside because they are the owner of the house. If they go do, you see, be like deaf and dumb. If your husband come, come here, come here, you 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 come here. This is a girlfriend, come here. Then you are the husband, you are my husband, eh? We are carrying your girlfriend, pass here. I open door. Look at me. When you see your husband, women, I am telling you as a prophet from today, if you want your marriage to last, put it in your last fingernail. I am not playing. I am helping you. And those who are watching me all over the world. Now go back side. Go back. Then that is the black and white is my husband. The yellow and white is his girlfriend. Okay? Oh yeah, waka, waka pass. I open door. I see my husband. I'll be able to. It's a dream. He said what? It's a dream. Dream, dream is dream. Let them waka they go. Not dream. When your husband, husband come back, my husband come, come and tell me. Then I'll ask you. Ah, uh, honey, <laughs> how are you? How now? You are back from work. I seventeen. Fine, sir. Uh, eh. Fine, sir. Where did we find, sir? Fine, fine my darling. Fine, my darling. Fine, sir. Where did we find, sir? I'm your wife here. Yeah, you say fine, sir. Where did we find, sir? Prophetic confusion. <laughs> now, I have now come to you. You now come to me and say, ah, um, darling, <laughs> dig war. Go in there. Ah, uh, ice walk. Walk is fine. Okay. Let's <laughs> like, see, walk well, well, oh, you. <laughs> yes, darling. Yeah, I walk well. You walk well, well, eh? Oh, my body tired. I think they don't disturb you for the office, Abby. Uh, no. They don't disturb. Guests don't disturb you, eh? No. Ah. <laughs> now, dream. I dream one girl. They, I dream, say. Are you hearing me? Women! Listen carefully, yo! Oh! Not physically, yo! Oh! I dreamed one girl yellow. I dreamt for dreamo. I see. I saw one girl put on yellow, and uh, you carry her like that. Say what? He said no. Say no. Say what? No. Ah? Huh? No. Ah. No go cancel the dreamo. Make it not happen. I beg. That dream I don't like. I don't want anybody to take my wife. Home. When Oga said no, you say what? Bye bye. It's a dream. Oga said no. I can't say. I cancel that dream. Say, I cancel that negative dream. Cancel that negative dream. I leave a girl like that. This woman, can I prophesy? Prophesy! Oh, your husband is a big man in company. And this man in shell. When I look at it, he's a big man in a company. And when I look at it, this man can do anything that you ask. Even this few days, he bought a car. Can I? Prophesy! This woman sent a monitor. To monitor her husband oh. and the monitor came and lied to you your money the monitor lied to you oh. to lie to you Jesus. your husband loves you more than any other thing right now oh. she lied that your husband has a friend a girlfriend when you came and you not begin to now in the top from war oh. you began to now why him ask him questions he said eh I tell you from that day to today, the husband don't love her again. It's true. It's true. It's true. It's true. Very, very well. Please, please help me. Can I? She asked a million, three million, five million. Give it to her, ten million. But this woman sends spy like the three wise men. Don't the, the money to the husband. Jesus. Hey, men, say women don't monitor me. 
<laughs> tell her, tell her. Don't monitor. Don't monitor me. Don't monitor me. <laughs> Say, I will not monitor you. I will not monitor you. Uh -huh. Very good. You are dear. You are dear. <laughs> Can I professor? Professor. We are talking about prophetic. Now you are finished. You are finished. You are finished. You are finished. By such a grace, the three generous meeting that you have come, I join my faith with Dr. Chris or Carver. In order to settle this matter, I must mistake. Husband, mistake. A mistake. Mistake. Is a mistake. Mistake. Husbands uh, are on castle. Let me tell you. Let me tell you, husbands. Uh, before we go ahead, time is not on my side. You may be sitting, sit down first. Let me tell you how husbands are working. Let me tell you, husbands, every husband in the, the whole world. Let me see how Nigeria husbands are behaving at night. Nigeria, your husband is from Nigeria. On another pussy cat for na, Nigeria pussy cat. For afternoon. Meow. It seems he doesn't know anything. But once night fall, pussy can <laughs> Can I professor? Professor! Divine encyclopedia! Ah! <laughs> Don't disturb them. Put it in your finger and this woman have done a great mistake. Because nobody to please help me to cancel her. Oh, please. Why? I'm sorry. Why? Please help me. No, the man did not love her anymore. Oh. He don't want to see her. Yes. Huh? Yes, he doesn't want to see me. I want to see her. What is again? What is again? What is again? Somebody that your helper. Your helper. You are monitoring your helper. Women, I have told you, I revealed a secret to Yabi. If you want your husband to last with you, don't to deaf and dumb. It's a dream. It's a dream. Can I? Somebody stand and say, It's a dream. It's a dream. That's all. You enjoy your husband. Professor. You may be seated. Now, when she accused the husband, you know how the husband has done to her? The husband accused you. He said, Yes. You, you are accusing me. Eh? You said they go out with a man. <laughs> one one, draw. One one. Two. So now the husband don't want to see her. Hey, one man has no, 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 no. By the grace of the three generous mercy. The grace. Many of us, we have done mistakes because we are ignorant. Today, God will show you mercy. Will you monitor him again? No, never. Never. <laughs> monitor. Never. 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 Will you monitor him again? Never. Never. <laughs> never. I can't try it. Never in my life. Men, say, say to yourself, women, leave us alone. Somebody shout. Wisdom. It's okay. We are going to pray for you. With God, all things are. All things are. Now listen, madam. You have already done the mistake. We, we have to cry for mercy. Second chance. Somebody say what? Second, Second chance. chance. Second chance. Second chance. 
He said, Somebody said, Dream. Dream. <laughs> dream. Your helper. No, don't try it. Or don't try it. Many women, because of that, they lose their homes, they lose their stars. They lose their helper. Your husband is your helper. Somebody say, say dream. When you look around, as far as your, your husband will not marry that woman, allow him. Every time you can tell him the dream, small time you will know for himself. Eh? Oh, this woman, they see me every day. Oh, you are praying. You are praying. God will touch him. He will come back to God. I hear me. I dream, oh. This time, a black woman, I see you. Now, dream, oh. Now, dream. Dream has no offense. Mm. Oh, somebody shout. Hey! Hey! Many homes that we lose today because of ignorance. Oh, you want shit. him to come back? Yes, yes. Sir. You want I him? want him to come back. You want God to give a second chance? Yes, second huh? chance. Yes. You don't want? Yes, I want, you want second, chance. second chance. Second chance. I want to Will you do it again? No. You will monitor? No, I won't at all. <laughs> I won't go there. I will not go there. No more shit is here. I won't go there. I won't go there. I want him back. You monitor. So from today, I prophesy. God is love. Father, that love, any woman, any man that here, you have lost somebody that you love because of mistake that you lost the person's contact. I prophesy to you. Let God give you second chance. Amen. Second chance. Amen. You are second chance. Amen. Zoom, second chance. Amen. YouTube, second chance. Amen. Facebook, second chance. Messy TV, second chance. Amen. Receive. Receive. I give you second chance. Let God of Jeremiah, God of Christ, God of Joshua Igela give you second chance. Amen. In Jesus' name. Jesus. Take this one. Somebody put, your put it inside the water. Bab the water. Say, God, mercy. Ellen, the one, look at the distant part. Put it inside for seven days. Call your husband's name. Only you. Say, I love God. Jesus, as I love the cross of Calvary. As you share your blood on the cross to so save me. Let your love lead again. Okay? Amen. Thank and you. And don't pass that water. Okay. Eh? okay. Let the water dry. Don't use towel. Look the east where the sun is coming from. Okay. Eh? Okay. Then don't do this mistake again. It is done. Come back and testify. Ah! So, um, welcome. Having watched the video, I want to start from me thinking that it is wrong for any woman to monitor her husband. Number one is that if you monitor your husband and you, you, you catch him, if you get to know that uh, he is cheating on you, he's been cheating on you, with that spirit of monitoring him, you may not handle it well. So, in the end, the marriage may end up, you know, falling apart. Now, I tell you a story of a woman who, he, she just got married and, uh, you know, for some few years, they were looking for the fruit of the womb and uh, eventually God answered them after some time and she gave birth to beautiful kids, twins. Now, the husband is young, her, herself was young. When I use the word was, you can understand what probably has happened. Now, so eventually he, she had a friend this lady didn't come they were not just friends she just came into the the store where the husband uh started a business for her um to charge her phone to charge her cell phone and in the process they became friends and um this lady too is not bad looking she is also pretty and the young man in question that is the husband of the the wife is also you know good looking you understand now, so um, the wife now commissioned her friend, so to say, to monitor the husband. 
So they became very close, too close. They became very, very close. To cut the long story short, this wife ended up dying a mysterious death. And um, you, your guess is as good as mine. So you, know what, what, you know what happened? Now, even though I don't have any concrete evidence to say that the woman killed the other woman in order to take over her husband, but that is the story everywhere. And, you know, the way she carries herself and how she came to take over the, the business of the so-called friend who had died will tell you something that uh, something eventually went wrong. And to be sincere with you, the young man, you know, was not actually caught to be doing anything sinister, anything wrong. So uh, that is basically it. It is not wise to detail anybody to monitor your husband. It is not wise because if you detail a lady, maybe a friend, you wouldn't know how much that your friend is dying secretly, you know, to have your husband. You, you know, you wouldn't know how desperate she is or she has been to have your husband. So the best thing, the best way to do it is that you must live with your husband, you know, according to wisdom, according to understanding. All right. Um, if you think that he is um, seeing somebody outside, uh, as a Christian, that is a way to go about it. But this is not a marriage seminar. So that is it, by the way. Now, secondly, I want to uh, talk about what Prophet Omoto Fufeni spoke about. Uh, like I said, you will watch the remainder of the video after I have finished my my uh, commentary now i do not know I'm, I'm not going to comment about the prophecy but the prophecy that brought about this whole thing you know you have watched it you saw it now i like to start by saying that it is unacceptable for a preacher to give a kind of um credence to adulterous men to men who are adulterous now when he says men are hunter that is in uh, hunters including himself that means he is hunting he gave an example of a pussycat that would pretend to be gentle at noon only to be wild in the night that that is the attitude of men and by the grace of god i am a man I want to submit that every man is tempted. Every man faces the same temptation. There are some men, even when you don't go after women, women come after you, all right? But that does, not give, that does not give room for any man to treat a woman as a piece of furniture. Now, from what he has said, you know that the woman has no right if she sees her husband come in with a side chick, she should just behave dumb I, I you know i wonder if his wife would take that kind of attitude i wonder if he has done such and you know from what he's saying probably that is actually the attitude that the prophets have come to inculcate in their wives because we hear funny stories about majority of these prophets how much they rape women and even in some cases their wives you know um come be, uh, 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 the, their wives come into the picture and trying to quell or to quench the fire that would be coming from the maybe the woman that was raped or the one that was you know um that had an affair with their husband that was going to smear the name of the man in the mud we have heard a story of a, a wife of a prophet trying to bribe the family of the uh, you know of the alleged uh, girl um with a sum of one million rand now so Maybe this is the practices of these prophets. And so he is trying to make it look like it is normal. Now, if it is not their practices, if it is not what they do, if they don't do it, I mean, he would be able to balance what he was trying to say. If he was trying to tell women that they should not waste their time in you know, trying to monitor their wives, you see, monitoring is not only when you engage a person to look at your to to you know to find out the movement of your husband maybe in the office you know if he's a businessman whatever he does during the day now this monitoring starts even from opening their cell phones reading their text messages and their their whatsapp messages now these are 
monitoring. But I want you to understand that I said, a woman, if you really want to have peace of mind, if you want to have peace of mind, you just need to live with your husband with trust. You know, believing if you are a Christian, if you are a Christian and you have married a Christian, you need to trust and to believe God for your husband. Now, he talked about prayers. Yeah, prayers is one of the areas with, uh, you know, with which to help your husband. Now, but that does not mean that any man has any right to go outside there to shit. You know, even if gospel uh, has not spoken against it, which it is all over the place, you know, in the Bible, adultery is adultery, no matter what any, any false preacher want to, you know, paint it. Now, do you know why a preacher like this would the millions? That video, as at the last time I saw it on Facebook, it has had about 1.6 million views, as at the time I checked last. Not to talk of those that watched it live, not to talk of those, you know, that were there in the, in the congregation. And a preacher could give such junk, you know, uh, 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 food to the, the the listeners i tell you something he has given license to every male that listened to him that it was okay for them to shit but then to the woman the woman has no right to you know to question the you know the actions of the husband now the truth is that even when the bible has given men you know some sort of of um headship in the family that does not make the woman you know, a piece of furniture. That does not make the woman a property. That does not make the woman some kind of an acquisition to the man. Now, the Bible says, the Lord says, I will bring into the life of this man a help meet, suitable, you know, for him. It does not make the woman any way lesser. Now, the Bible says that we should dwell with them with understanding, with knowledge, with knowledge. And when the Bible said that there are weaker vessels, it is, it is on a different level. Now, but I said this is not a marriage seminar. So what I'm saying here is that if a pastor should not, you know, would not uh, be able, I said I watched this video today and so that I would see him balance it. If he had balanced it, I wouldn't have any business, you know, being here. But he didn't balance it. Then on a second day, a days maybe I, I wouldn't know how many days later after that incident now he also was validating what the point that men are hunters and so if you are a fellow man here and you are a hunter please put it down in the comment section i've heard many people say that men are all men are the same and i beg to disagree that all men are not the same all right the reason why many preachers will not condemn things like this is that they believe in eternal security they believe in once saved always saved and so carelessness becomes the order of the day and this is the danger of uh, of of that satanic you know message that in spite of what you do you will inherit the kingdom of God. But the Bible says, know ye not that the unrighteous shall not inherit the kingdom of God. When Apostle Paul in Galatians chapter 5 listed out the works of the flesh, he, he told them that these were the things I told you before. And now I am telling you again that they that dwell in such things shall not inherit the kingdom of God. And if as a Christian you don't inherit the kingdom of God, what then are we saying that you cannot lose your salvation? So what I'm saying here, now if it is good for a man to shit then it is also good for the woman to shit if it's good for a man to come home with a side chick now it is equally good for the woman to come home with uh, what will i call that um whatever well, he, you know whatever so if if it is not good for the woman to express herself when she finds out that the husband you know has done something that is that has broken the marital vows then it is also normal the woman can also do as well but we are talking to christians we are talking to christians i'm talking to believers i'm not talking to i'm not i'm not talking to those that have no stake in the kingdom if you don't have a stake in the kingdom you may go on and do whatever you want to do all right and for those that will be ready and willing to defend the doctrine of eternal security once saved always saved you can live in in you know immorality it doesn't matter you've been saved you will always remain saved now if you if you if you are here you may not you may not bother you know uh, listening to me but the fact is that 
everything we do, everything we have done, everything we shall do shall be vetted. We shall be tried. Listen to me. The Bible has said that not all that said unto me, Lord, Lord, that shall enter into the kingdom of heaven. I make good to tell you that those that Jesus will say that he, they will turn to him and say, Lord, I casted out demons from, you know, uh, 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 in your name, I prayed in your name, I healed in your name, I did this in your name, I did that in your name. I make both to tell you that those were not false prophets. Those were the people that exercised the power and the authority in the name of Jesus. Because it is written that this power shall follow them that believe. So believing in Jesus is one thing. But then, you know, having the identity of the kingdom is another thing. Have you heard of those that have the form of godliness but denying the power thereof? My friend, the power there is not, is not, is not the power to heal the sick. It's not the power for miracles. It is that in John chapter 1 verse 12, the Bible said, but as many as received him to then gave you power to become the sons of God. Because living a life of righteousness that pleases God is not something you can achieve in the flesh. It is something that you need extraordinary grace, the power of God, that the power Power that makes you a son, the power that that you know gives you access, you know, uh, uh, into the, the the beloved family of God, that that makes you an heir of, of of salvation. Now, I have said earlier that once we are saved, our our salvation is eternal. Now, as long as we obey Jesus, because Jesus is the captain of our eternal salvation unto those that obey him. This salvation is eternal. He is the captain and he ensures that nothing happens to it as long as we obey him. If we don't obey him, we don't, we don't inherit this. Now, this is the reason why you may not find, you may not find crowd in some churches. Because they are... People we call the preacher a legalistic preacher. Now, people want to go to places where they are told, you know, have truth. But I want you to understand that the danger there is that the Bible says that anybody that deducts from the truth, his name shall be removed from the book of life. Anyone that adds to this truth, now his sorrow shall be multiplied, you know, in the fire of hell. Okay? So, here is a pastor who actually was supposed to, Give the you know the, the thing became a, a a kind of um you know a comedy it became a charade now that he had to turn to a fellow pastor to tell the pastor that men are hunters and they, that one was like what are they hunting for antelope leopard he said no they are going out to go and do it do what to go and have extramarital relationship and it sounded like you know it is f funny and then he turned to the congregation tell tell your wife don't monitor you and gleefully people are you know are doing that and um, you know i i was not surprised because you know raising that kind of congregation you're raising a congregation as well that the the wives will not find anything that is you know bad in it for them to also go out and do some funny funny things so this is my take on this this is my take on this it is absolute nonsense it is it, it is unbelievable that in the 21st century that Preachers are preaching this kind of things. Preachers do come out to, to talk about these things. Then what is the message of the kingdom? Is this the message of the kingdom? Is this the doctrine that Jesus passed on to the apostles? Is this, is this the thing that, that will prepare people for eternal life? Tell me, tell me. Now what then is, is, is unrighteousness? People are talking about the grace of God. The grace of God is there. But the Bible warns about those that turn the grace of God into lasciviousness. When you turn the grace of God into, into emptiness. And Apostle Paul asked, do we not continue in sin that grace abounds? And he shouted and said, God forbid. So it is very, very unfortunate. It is very, very unfortunate that we are having this kind of conversation even this time around. May the good Lord preserve you. May the Lord, may the Lord uh, uh, keep you. I know that some of you will not like what I'm saying, but it doesn't matter. I've not come to make you like me. I've not come to make you, you know, uh, you know, see, but, uh, 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 you know, for me to please, you know, I've not come to do that. Of course, the truth do injure. The truth will wound you. Okay. But then if you accept the truth, you know the truth. The Bible says the truth shall make you free. You shall know the truth and the truth shall make you free when you sit down. You know, look over these things. Think about it. How, how will you feel if your daughter comes home one day and said, Dad, I was at home one day and my, 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 uh, my husband came home with another woman, you know, and, and I tried to talk and he slapped me and, 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 you know, and threw me out of the house. 
how will you treat it? You know, how, how will you behave? If your, your sister comes home and, and is telling you, brother, my, 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 my husband is misbehaving, in, you know, in this form. Except even if you are living, you know, that is the hypocrisy that, that is with us. Even when you are living that kind of a life, you will shout at the, you know, at the top of your voice at see if you have not done it, you are not living in it. Because you know it is not good, because you know it is wrong. And if you know it is wrong, please stop doing it. Stop doing it. Woman, you want to support your pastor. Fine, it is good, but I pray for you. May you experience such, such in, your, in your marriage. If it is okay, if what he's saying is okay, please don't come here to try to explain to me what he was trying to say because he was not trying to say anything different. He was not trying to say anything that was different from what he has passed on to the people. He was not trying to say anything. You know, some, some women have been killed because of the promiscuous nature of their husbands you know some some uh, uh, very desperate women outside there got entangled with the, the you know the man and because the woman in the house will be an obstacle she had to do something and eliminate the woman you know by, by all means in order to come in you know and she comes in and turns the, the children of the late woman to slaves and you're here trying to defend what? Please don't just, don't just bring that here. Don't bring it here. The truth must be told. This is, this is an abomination coming from a pastor. This is an abomination at the highest order coming from a man that is, you know, uh, having followership all over the place. You see, he, 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 he hyped so much about money. The, the husband of this woman having money, you know, she has 10 million, she has this. So, People have reduced the gospel of Jesus Christ, the gospel of the kingdom, just it, you know, to money. As if money is, is just the principal thing. Money, money doesn't, money doesn't, I mean, mo does money buy life? Does money buy life? We, we are talking about the message of the kingdom and he is bringing in, in money. What money? Agreed. The woman made mistake. All right. But that is not justifiable that men are hunters. So, so, you know, he, can, he of, definitely he is involved in it. If he's not involved in it, he cannot sanction it. But the good Lord bless you. I'll be seeing you in the next video. I'm so, I'm so miffed. I'm so gutted. Um, you know, I don't have to speak so, so, so much about this. But God bless you. I'll be seeing you in the next video. Till I come your way again in the next video, I'd like you to uh, put down your comments, whether good or bad, put it there like the video or dislike it whichever one just en engage engage with the video uh share the link and if you're coming for the first time to the channel and you've not subscribed to the channel please subscribe to the channel and activate the bell icon by selecting all so that the next time we upload the new video you will receive you will receive a notification from youtube and i also want to plead that you subscribe to my alternative channel the end is nearer television god bless you till i come your way again i remain your brother in the lord and i want to say to you Shalom. Men are hunters. Men are what? Hunters. I want to advise all men, women of God here and all children of God. You are coming up in time that when you marry, don't make that mistake. You need a counselor so that your marriage shall never ever break out. If your marriage is breaking out before, from today, you have to correct yourself. People will not laugh at you. At you. Praise the Lord. Hallelujah. The Bible says men are the head of the family. And also, women came out, the right rib, the bone of man that given birth to woman. When somebody married today and now quit out from husband's house, no, there are mistakes that are going on somewhere that you need a prophet or a pastor to cancel you. Yes, Papa. But you don't have cancel. A woman last at the mountains, I was prophesying. Remember? A woman married to a shell big man. Shell. Big man, this man buys what is called jeep for her. He bought even houses for her 10 million, 20, 30 million given to her. Anytime she wants the money, 
This woman did not use wisdom. She doesn't know that men are hunters. They are pussycat at night. So she paid a young boy to monitor her husband. Somebody say no wisdom. No wisdom. 